What's up, everyone? Happy Wednesday. I'm back here at the lake, hanging out with the geese. A couple of them are still sleeping. I think we woke some of them up as we walked up here. And uh, it's about, uh, I think it's about 34 degrees right now. Not too bad. Uh, still a little chilly with the wind, but um, overall, not bad, not bad. It's been worse, it's been worse. So, it is Wednesday. And uh, we're halfway through the week, and um, had a bunch of stuff going on. Um, had a closing yesterday on my North Fork property. Um, that was a joint venture. Um, I listed that home, and then uh, my agent, Dawn, brought a buyer out, and they uh, bought it and um, kept it in-house here with a group effort. Uh, it's one of the nice things about having a team is that... Uh, we have a whole bunch of clients that we're all working with, and we all work together to uh, make things happen. And of course, uh, we can do more together than we can on our own, uh, which brings us into relationships. So um, one of the things I've been thinking about is, uh, what are you ashamed of? What are you ashamed of? Uh, because when you carry shame, uh, it makes you keep distance from people. Um, so a lot of people talk about getting naked and not in the uh, no clothes way and about uh, um, really getting real with yourself, really taking off the boundaries, taking off the, uh, the shame, taking all that stuff that you're carrying around and really just getting raw with it. Um, if you're carrying around shame, if you're overweight and you're ashamed that you're overweight, um, if you're drinking too much and you're ashamed that you're drinking too much, if you're doing some sort of drugs or watching porn or doing something like that that you're ashamed of. Uh, maybe it's just that, um, I don't know, you're not putting in the effort that you should be putting in. Um, maybe you've made some bad decisions in your life, um, some bad choices that you're ashamed of. And when we carry the shame around and we hold it in, um, we tend to keep people at distance because we don't want them to know um, what we're really about we carry around inside and that hurts our relationships in life that keeps us from building close relationships that helps us from moving forward uh, it's a lot of weight that we carry around so if there's something in your life that you're struggling with that you're ashamed of um, two things you got to do one fix it you know if you're overweight listen let's don't be overweight anymore let's start exercising let's start going um, stuff like that. But also it helps to talk about it. Um, find people that are close to you, find people that support you and get vulnerable and talk about it. Because you know what, you'll realize that everyone else has similar issues. Everyone else is going through similar stuff. Everyone else has stuff they're ashamed of. And um, when you start connecting with people in your circle and you start really getting raw and real and getting naked, as we call it, um, it allows you to release that that shame allows you to release that struggle, allows you to realize that you're not all alone on the journey and that it's going to allow you to propel forward. Um, it's going to allow you to start making closer relationships. It's going to allow you to start um, getting rid of some of that weight that you're carrying around. It's going to help you build better every day. It's going to help things get lighter. Um, so think about that. What are you carrying around? What shame are you carrying around? And uh, let's work to release it. Work to fix it. Work to make it better. You can't carry around all this shame because it's going to limit your relationships in life. It's going to limit how far you can go. Um, it's uh, definitely a weight that we carry on our shoulders. So, And the other thing is uh, moving forward, uh, as my brother Mark says, make good choices. Um, you won't have shame if you make good choices. So make good choices every day. I say this a lot. When you're making a decision in your life, ask yourself, does this represent what winning looks like? Is this something that uh, I'm proud of? Is this something that uh, I want to tell everyone about? Or is this something uh, that maybe I'm making a wrong choice? Because when you make that wrong choice, it just adds to uh, the shame you carry around. So here's your message of the day. Get raw. Get vulnerable. Don't carry around that shame. Fix the shame. Get in shape. Stop drinking. Stop doing whatever it is that you're ashamed of. Um, start reaching out to some 
people in your lives and start connecting, start building those relationships, start getting raw and vulnerable and uh, lighten up your load a little bit. It's a lot to carry and that, that restricts you from moving forward. All right, so let's jump on message of the day. We're down here, Valley Stream, Hendrickson Park. The geese are back to sleep. It's a rough day on them. They're all tucked in. All right, sun is, uh, I don't know what time is it? Sun should be up. I think it's up behind the clouds over there. You can see a little bit in the background. All right, let's jump on prayers. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to uh, awaken from our slumber. Help us to... Uh, release some of the shame that we carry and help us to make good choices and not be ashamed of things we're doing in our lives. Help us to uh, release that burden and help us to help those around us release their burdens. Uh, help us to all grow together and help us to keep building every day. Uh, help us to find happiness in uh, everything we do and help us to be grateful for everything that shows up in our lives. Uh, we thank you. Amen. All right. So it's a little chilly today. Sun's coming up behind the clouds over there. Wednesday morning. Uh, lots of stuff going on this week. Tonight I got my team meeting, real estate team meeting. Um, if you're a real estate agent out there struggling, uh, let's talk. I do a weekly team meeting, a weekly coaching call. Uh, maybe you could be a part of it. Maybe I can help you guys out. Uh, I know there's a lot of agents out there that are struggling to figure out how to make it work. And uh, I'm thinking uh, something that I want to start helping people with. Uh, so if you're a struggling real estate agent out there and you're looking to uh, figure out how to make things work, um, I can help you. So reach out. But anyway, we're going to go off and uh, finish this ride. Uh, i got a meeting over in Farmingdale. i got a couple meetings today. Uh, potential listing in the works. Uh, hopefully that happens. A couple new buyer clients. And uh, things are moving along. So I hope everyone's doing well. If anyone else needs anything, always don't hesitate to reach out. I'm here for you guys. All right. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go.